Asian nations continue to experience immense growth and development, Malaysia and Indonesia are moving forward in tandem at a steady pace. As Malaysia strives to achieve its vision of a developed nation by year 2020, Indonesia continues to drive growth and tap into its vast natural resources. Even so, there are still some areas within both countries which have yet to share in the benefits of progress. It is from this need that the vision of the Warisan region was conceived. The area which is approximately 74,219 square kilometers will include Malacca in Malaysia and Riau in Indonesia. The area of the Warisan region has long been linked historically and shares similarities in language and customs. Riau, which includes a large part of East Sumatra, is the heartland of the Malays. With their coastlines connected to the Straits of Malacca, this region was once a thriving trade route which brought enormous prosperity to the area. The Straits of Malacca, a waterway between Peninsula Malaysia and the Indonesian island of Sumatra, is one of the most important shipping lanes in the world. The Straits of Malacca crossing will be the longest sea crossing project in the world, with a total length of 129.93 kilometers. It will link the Indonesian island of Sumatra and the Malaysian Peninsula. The bridge will be the spearhead of the project, and once it is completed, the areas within the Warisan region will experience unprecedented development and economic growth. This will ultimately benefit the 6.3 million people living and working within the region. The crossing will also bring Malaysia and Indonesia even closer by fostering a relationship of cooperation and mutual respect. It will especially benefit trade and tourism. The project will also generate a lasting global impact, as well as ignite social change within the region. There are two proposed designs for the crossing. One is a full bridge concept, and the other is a bridge and tunnel plan, which will include a submerged tube tunnel under Pulau Rupat in Indonesia. Both design concepts take into account the current navigation channels used by ships in the Straits of Malacca, including navigation channels for upstream, downstream, and deep water navigation. The design objectives for the bridge include for the crossings to be perfectly functional, economical in construction, and beautiful in design. With the start of this landmark project, many changes will take place in the region. The Warisan region will create many opportunities in the following sectors. With the new crossing, trade between the nations will flourish due to the reduction in cost and the ease at which trade is conducted. This will benefit both nations and the spillover effect will have an influence on trading throughout the rest of Asia. The region has always shared a rich heritage of history dating back centuries. Though tied in many ways, each is still unique in its own right. And with the distance between Malaysia and Indonesia only an hour's drive away, the Warisan region is set to become an important tourism destination, not only locally, but also internationally. The link will also act as a gateway to the rest of Indonesia, making traveling between countries more convenient. With trade and tourism booming in the region, the opportunity for business will be immense. Businesses in areas such as tourism, travel, food and retail will flourish. Intermigration within the countries and cross-border migration will also contribute to a healthy supply and demand for goods and services. Creating employment for the masses is an important objective of the Warisan region. As more businesses begin to profit from the region, more opportunities for employment will be created. This will benefit both the Indonesian and Malaysian workforce as a whole. Education will play a major part in the development of the Warisan region. 
employees will require additional skills to remain competitive in the global arena and this will open up opportunities in education for all. Construction and development will be the key industry to prosper. It will spearhead and transform the region by providing adequate housing, retail, commercial and industrial centers for the population. And with a land area of 74,219 square kilometers, the potential for development will be massive. SOMP is the main driving force behind this project. It has managed to bring together financial institutions and acquire the endorsement of both the local authorities and federal governments to help the project move forward. Being privately funded, the Warisan region will not financially burden the governments. It will also allow the utilization of international as well as local funding. In addition to that, the most advanced and state-of-the-art technology will be used in the development of the region. The Warisan region will also have well-planned infrastructure to drive development. This will include roads, utilities, airports, railways and telecommunications. All these elements will ensure that the region will constantly be on par with other industrialized nations. Malaysia and Indonesia have always shared a historical bond of kinship. And it is remarkable that after generations, the residual cultural values of the people are still the same. It is because of this similarity of culture and values, along with the expertise and technology brought on by the Warisan Development Region, that we are confident of success. Our goal has always been to bring prosperity and a higher standard of living to the region. We have taken all the necessary steps to provide opportunity for all. And once these foundations are in place, the people within the Warisan region will have to actively participate and contribute to what is to be their legacy. Only then can the Warisan Development Region truly be a global gateway to prosperity. Keep the mantle for the summer sun.